Hello and welcome to the ATP Digital Tutorial. In this video I'll show you around the program and give you some hints and tips on how to get the best from it. I will assume that you've managed to install it without problems. If you have encountered difficulties, the contact details for our tech support team are at the end of this tutorial or on an insert in your DVD case. OK, let's open the application. I'll log on using my username. then add my password. And here we are on my home page. Along the top on this menu bar you have access to various features which I'll take you through in a moment. A couple are links to external websites so will require internet access. The main area shows your progress against a plan. If you are on a course with one of our integrated schools, these dates may be set for you. Otherwise, you set the dates here. I'm on a two-module course. I'm starting Module 1 today, so I'll leave that set as it is. But I want to change the Module 1 end date and Module 2 dates. So now, this is showing just Module 1. I want to complete it in 19 weeks, allowing me two weeks revision before my brush-up course, which starts on 25th of June. So I'll set my end date to the 3rd of June. Click Save, because I'm happy with that. And there we are. Now Module 2. I'm going to start studying as soon as my exams are over. So let's say start on Monday the 16th of July. Click Save again, and then I'll change the end date. I'm allowing 18 weeks, so the 18th of November will give me two weeks revision for my brush up in December. Click Save again, and we're there back to full course and you can see the results. As I complete my lessons and progress tests, my progress will be plotted out on the graph in red, so I can instantly see how I'm doing against this plan. Down here you can see when the results were last updated. You do not have to take any action to submit results, it happens automatically when you're online. If you work offline however, you will need to connect to the internet to synchronise. Updates to the content, application and question database also occur automatically in the background when you're connected, so you should not need this sync button. The final area on this screen is for the shortcuts to your next lesson and next progress test. We recommend that you study in the order the syllabus is written. A lesson stays as unfinished until you have completed and passed the lesson quiz. I've already done the first lesson, so I'm going to click on my next lesson. And here we are at the intro screen. The first page is always the JAA, or EASA objectives for the lesson. Then we move into the content. You can navigate using these buttons, which do just as they say. There are various page layouts. Many have images, or animations on the right. Like this. Various controls emerge if you hover over the image, and some allow you to print. We'll look at an animation later. Down here you can see your progress through the lesson, and the lesson title. If you want to skip to another page, hover over this. The red means it's highlighted, you need to click to select. You can also jump to the quiz. We recommend that you make sure you're ready for the quiz before attempting it. Maybe the best advice is to skim through the lesson quickly once, so you get an idea about what it covers. Then return to the beginning and work through more thoroughly. If you get stuck on any point, the forum is a good source of information, and our instructors, as well as other students who are in the same situation as you, are active there. If you wanted to, you could jump to other lessons in the same subject here. We do not recommend that you study out of order though. So, let's go back to the quiz. I won't spoil your fun by telling you all the right answers. Clicking on an answer selects it, and you can change your mind by clicking another. And when you're ready, press Next. 
you can skip a question, go back, etc. When you get to the end, you have the option of going back again or proceeding to marking. A final chance to change your mind. And here are my results. Terrible. I can find out more. It gives me the correct answer plus an explanation. My pass rate is 100% and the lesson is not considered complete until the quiz is passed. So I must retake. If you have made a silly mistake and are sure that you understand the topic, by all means immediately retake. However, we suggest otherwise that you should return to the course and restudy the area you had issues with and only then attempt the quiz again when you're confident you've got it. So, I've clicked Return to Course, which has taken me to the My Course page. There, the course is laid out in sequence, colour-coded as shown here. My first lesson is shown in green, as it is complete. I failed NAV2, so that's shown in red. It will turn green when I retake and pass the quiz. Target and completed dates are shown here. This is Module 1. I can look ahead at Module 2 if I want to. I promised you earlier a look at some other page styles. Let's turn to MEP Lesson 3. In this subject, we introduce every lesson with a video and conclude it with a summary. On page 4, we have an animation. Press play once you've read the text and are ready to watch. You may pause at any stage. One little gotcha occurs if you expand. There are no controls visible. To get out of expand mode, you'll need to double click. This button replays the video. Clicking on the green progress bar allows you to jump. Let's go back to the My Course page. The other way to access this page is using the menu bar. This is visible whenever you're in a lesson or not. Other areas along the menu bar are My Account, where I can view and change, if necessary, my personal info. I could change my course dates from here as well if I wanted to. Revision allows me to review lessons or tests which are complete. Home takes me back here. And Exams takes me to the question and answer database. I'll come back here in a moment, as there is a lot to cover. Forum is a link to the online forum. It will open your default web browser and you'll need to log on or create an account if this is your first visit. As you can see, it's very active and there's a tremendous history of questions people have posed before you, so make good use of the search facility. Our instructors are usually very quick with answers, but bear in mind they do have other duties. This final button takes you to our website. I'll leave you to browse that yourself. OK, back to the exams button. This is a hugely useful revision tool. It is best used once you've completed your studies, as a revision aid before the exams. The first of these options will construct for you an exam using random questions timed as the real exam will be. The layout is similar to the quiz you've already seen. Some questions come with images, with controls which are obvious. You may quit at any stage. You then have these options. The second choice is similar, except there's no time limit. Fixed tests are those which have been selected for you. Your training provider may have created tests for you to do here. 
Finally, you can choose to practice questions in a particular subject. I'm sticking with General Nav, as I obviously need the practice. There are a lot of options here. I could choose questions on a particular topic. The software then searches for all questions in the database containing the search phrase. Or maybe I'd like to see all questions in that subject. Another option is questions I've not yet attempted. Or I can concentrate on those questions that I've previously got wrong. Or those in a particular area of the subject I'm interested in. Finally, I can return to a previous quiz. This is a hugely powerful tool, available on or offline. The Q&A database is the same as found on our industry-leading website, ATP Online. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of ATP Digital, and I hope you do better in your tests than I did. Remember, you can get your tech support anytime you need it, and other support via the forum. Good luck with your studies.